Hey guys, welcome to Techno Wizard. This is Rohit Sharma, and in this video, we are going to analyze a quiz six that was based upon the communication system. Okay, uh, in this video, in this quiz, total of four, total fifteen questions are contained, and uh, this involves sixty marks, and one correct question is equal to four marks, and one incorrect is one mark. And those who have not attempted the quiz, please join the Telegram group so as you can attempt the quiz and. Uh, Lots of questions are prepared here, okay, so that you can prepare also prepare for your various exams like ISRO, BSSC, HSFC, and uh, uh, other exams like DMRC, etc. Okay, so let's start the video. First question number one. Okay, for an for an AM wave, the maximum voltage was found to be 10 volt. Okay, that is V max is given as 10 volt, and uh, V minimum, the minimum voltage was found to be 5 volt. Okay, V minimum is equal to 5 volt. We have to find the modulation index that is M. Okay, uh, modulation index is given as V max minus V min upon V max plus V minimum. Okay, V max is 10, 10 minus 5 upon 10 plus 5. That will be equal to 5 upon 50. This is 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 can also be written as 0 0.33. Okay, therefore option A is the correct answer. Next question. In next question, a 10 kilowatt carrier is sinusoidally, 10, 10 kilowatt carrier that is PC is equal to 10 kilowatt, okay, is modulated by two carriers, modulation, uh, corresponding to the modulation index, okay, one is the M1 is the 30%, that is 0 0.3, and M2 modulation index is 0 0.4, total radiated power that is PT, we have to calculate the PT, so uh, here we first we have to find the total modulation index that is MT, which is given by to, uh, root of m1 square plus m2 square okay m2 square therefore 0 0.3 whole square root of plus 0 0.4 whole square on calculating this we will find this it be 0 0.5 okay and we know that pt is equal to pc 1 plus modulation index total modulation index square upon 2 and pc is uh, 10 kilowatt uh, given in the question 1 plus 0 0.5 square divided by 2 this will come out to be 10 into 1.125 and this is 11.125 kilowatt answer okay option A is the correct answer next question next question a given AM broadcast station transmits an average carrier power output of 40 kilowatt okay that is pc is equal to 40 kilowatt and uses a modulation index of 0 0.707 modulation index is 0 0.707 for a sine wave modulation what is the maximum amplitude amplitude output that is maximum amplitude can also be find by am plus ac that is carrier amplitude and the maximum amplitude we have to find the peak amplitude here okay peak value of the amplitude is represented by a 50 ohm resistor load that is r is 50 ohm okay uh, we know that for power uh, power relation in am wave what is the power relation in am wave is am wave is pc is equal to ac square upon 2 into 1 upon rl okay and we know that pc is equal to 40 kilowatt that is 40 into 10 to the power 3 ac we have to find here upon 2 into 1 upon RL is 50. After on finding this, we will get AC is equal to 2000 volt. Okay. And we know that modulation index is AM upon AC. From here, we can find AM. AM is equal to 0 0.707 into 2000. This will, here we will get this at 1414 volt. Okay. AM we have get and AC also 2000 volt. Okay. Now the peak value is AM plus AC, therefore 2000 plus 1414, we will get this as 3414 and this will be equal to 3.414 kilowatt. Okay, therefore option C is the kilovolt, sorry, option C is the correct answer. Next question, C of T and M of T are used to generate a M AM signal amplitude modulation signal the modulation index of the generated AM signal that is M is given as 0 0.5 what we have to find is we have to find the total side band band power divided by carrier power okay 
total side wind power is given as PC modulation square upon 2 upon carrier power is PC. We can cancel PC by PC and M square by 2 that is 0 0.5 square upon 2. We can write 0 0.5 as 1 upon 2 ka whole square upon 2. This will come out to be 1 upon 8 that is option D is the correct answer. Now next question. Which of the following analog modulation scheme requires the minimum transmitted power and the minimum channel bandwidth? Only SSB, single side band. Here we will require minimum transmitted power and the minimum channel width. Question number 6. If the amplitude of MFT is doubled, then bandwidth of both will then the bandwidth of both will get all will get double. Option C. No, option D is not. Option D is the wrong answer. Option D is the option C is the correct answer. Bandwidth of both will double. Okay. For FM and also for PM, phase modulation and frequency modulation. Okay. Question number seven. A signal M of T, 5 cos 2 pi 100 pi T, frequency modulated, a carrier, the resulting FM signal, 10 cos 2 pi 10 to the power 5 T plus 15, 2 pi 100. Okay. If we write the equation for frequency modulated signal, that will be equal to AC cos omega CT, omega CT plus beta sine omega MT. Okay. If we compare this equation with this equation, we will find that beta, that is a modulation index, which is equal to 15. Okay. And omega M is equal to 2 pi into 100 radian per second. Therefore, I can write FM is equal to 100 hertz. Okay. Now we have to find the bandwidth for FM signal. For FM signal, bandwidth will be equal to 2 bracket beta plus 1 into FM. And we know that beta is equal to 15, therefore 2 into 15 plus 1 into FM is 100, that is equal to 32. This will come out to 16 into 2, 32 into 100. This will be 3200 and this we can write as 3.2 kilohertz. Option C is the correct answer. Next question. Question number 8. A carrier in phase modulated PM with frequency deviation of 10 kilohertz, that is del F is the frequency deviation which is equal to 10 kilohertz okay and we know that del f is directly proportional to the maximum frequency by a single train frequency of 1 kilohertz okay and fm is given as 1 kilohertz if the single tone frequency is increased to kilohertz okay if we are increasing 1 kilohertz frequency that is a single tone frequency to 2 kilohertz Assuming that phase deviation remains unchanged, that we have to find the bandwidth. Okay. Uh, for finding the bandwidth, uh, for a 2 kilohertz signal, we know that del F is directly proportional to FM. If FM increase, then a frequency deviation will also increase. Therefore, if FM is 2 kilohertz, the frequency deviation will also get double. Therefore, del F will be 20 kilohertz. Okay. And now we have to find the bandwidth. The bandwidth is, is equal to 2 twice of del F plus FM. Twice del F is 20 kilohertz. FM is 2 kilohertz. Okay. Then 2 into 22 will be 44 kilohertz will be the correct answer. Option D. Next question. Determine the frequency deviation del F and a carrier swing reduced to required to produce 80% modulation in FM band. Okay, in FM band, this, uh, the ratio, the percentage modulation, the percentage modulation is given as delta F actual, that is the frequency, the actual frequency deviation upon delta F, maximum frequency deviation into 100. Okay, and uh, this is given as 0 0.8 that is the 80 percent uh, percentage modulation is 80 percent okay that is equal to 0 0.8 is equal to del f actual upon del fm del fm is given as is 75 hertz 75 kilohertz okay for this signal carrier swing signal for a carrier swing required to produce 80 percent modulation in fm and the carrier swing will be uh, the del fm will be 75 kilohertz okay 
and now we have to find our del f actual this will be 0 0.8 into 75 which is equal to 60 kilo hertz now uh, we have to find frequency deviation that is a total career swing total career swing 2 into del f actual is equal to 2 into 60 which is equal to 120 kilohertz what we have done in this question is we have we have given with percentage modulation we know that percentage modulation is del f actual upon del fm and del fm is 75 kilohertz that is fixed okay and we have put the formula put the values in the formula and we have calculated the del f actual and the total carrier swing will be 2 into del f actual therefore 2 into 60 is 120 kilohertz this is how can this is how we can find the answer for this question question number 10 question number 10 is uh, a FM signal with modulation index M is passed through a frequency triplet that is three times okay in the the modulation index of the output signal will be also three times that is 3M the modulation will be 3M okay next question question number 11 in a super heterodyne receiver the IF that is the intermediate frequency is 455 kHz at is tuned to 1200 that is f is equal to 1200 hertz we have to find the image frequency uh, for image frequency fi is equal to fs plus minus f if intermediate frequency fs is 1200 1200 plus twice that's this is sorry twice of fif uh, into 455 this will be equal to 455 will be 910 and 1200 plus 910 will be 2110 kilohertz that is option c is the correct answer Next question, question number 12. When a radio receiver is tu turned to triple 5 kilohertz, that is Fs is equal to triple 5 kilohertz, its local oscillator provides the mixer with an input at, that is FLO frequency, local oscillator frequency is 1010 kilohertz. At the output, another signal is also received along with the desired signal. What is the frequency of the other station? Okay, now, if we find the intermediate frequency here, intermediate frequency is given as the local oscillator frequency minus the FS, okay, 1010 minus triple 5, that will be equal to 455 kilohertz will be our intermediate frequency. And if we have to find the other station frequency, that is the image frequency, we have given as image frequency is FI is equal to FS plus minus 2 FIF intermediate frequency, then FS is equal to triple uh, 5 plus twice into my 455 this will equal to 1465 kilo hertz therefore option d is the correct answer here question number 13 in an fdm system used for telephone which modulation scheme is adopted in this the single sideband sc is adopted for the use of telephone question number 14 the frequency to which the incoming signal is changed in super heterodyne. This is intermediate frequency. Okay. Next and the last question for this video. The number of frames per second in TV system is between 25 to 30. Therefore, 25 is the answer. Okay. So, these are the 15 questions in this quiz 6. Okay. Quiz 6 of communication system. And I have covered almost each and every part of communication system with the help of these two, two quizzes quiz 5 and quiz 6 that was basics of communication system and the communication system okay if you have any doubt related to these questions please ask me in the telegram group telegram group so so as to resolve all your doubts and secondly if you like the video please please share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you can get each and every notification of my channel and also press the bell icon okay all the best